Hey, what's up you guys, Dr. Sharma here. I've been getting this question a lot and it's whether or not you should be attending class during medical school. Now this is kind of a touchy topic because I cannot tell you whether or not to do one thing or the other. I can only give you sort of what some people's opinions on whether or not you should be attending your medical school lectures all year round or skipping a few of them. Now the, another issue with this topic is that you have an obligation to your medical school to do well and to pass and to be getting a passing GPA or just be passing your classwork if it's a pass fail school curriculum and that really should take first and foremost priority. Now does that mean you necessarily have to go to class all the time? Well again that really depends on your school's rule. If your school requires attendance at lectures then obviously that's a no-brainer and you should be attending every single lecture. Now if you're school requires a certain percentage of attendance or doesn't require attendance at all because maybe a lot of the classwork is posted online and as long as you're doing well in your classes and passing that should be okay for you now that's a different story what I would recommend is that you always try to pass your classwork first and attend your lectures as much as you can so that you can do well on your exams that pertain to medical school specifically. Beyond that, if you were to come close to your step one and you feel like you need to be taking time off from your classwork and studying your board exam materials, by all means, if that makes you feel like you're gonna score higher on your USMLE step one, but at the same time, you're able to handle that in terms of classwork and still pass and do well in medical school, you should definitely do that. Not everybody can do that though, and that's sort of the issue that comes in with medical school and, and the balancing act with doing well on board. Beyond just passing medical school, there is of course a level of role that GPA and class rank plays when you're being ranked for residence. But I will say that what outweighs this to some or a large degree, that degree I'm not sure, is what you score on your USMLE step one and step two. That being said, if you can really handle your medical school classwork and still do well in your classes or even just take a little bit of a hit instead of getting A's to B's or B's to maybe B minuses and you're taking some time off from your classwork and, and, and skipping some lectures in order to do more step one studying, I would advocate that, but again, I'm not going to tell you to go either way because you have an obligation to your medical school and that comes at a first priority. I will say that's what I did to some degree um, during my second year. I was definitely skipping classwork and then I could listen to the lectures online if they were recorded on double speed so that I could still finish my classwork, still do well, and then still have time to study my board material and do well on step one. Another thing that may help you is to make classwork studying a lot easier is to really have some like groups in your medical school and try to talk to people and try to pass around questions and information. Maybe say if one person goes to a lecture and gives you guys a study sheet or study guide and then you do the same for another lecture. That's what some of my friends did uh, during some of our classes so that we would all have time to study outside the room and do other things for boards during our second year. I will say that when you are in lecture and you're attending it and you're in class sitting there, definitely try to stay focused because that's just wasted time if you're sitting in a lecture and you're not getting much out of it. If you're a person who doesn't really learn from lectures anyways, then that's of course gonna be unfortunate because I'll be honest, it's hard for me to learn from a lecture, which is why I would mostly try to skip and then again, again uh, re-watch it on double speed later on and then take my notes that way once I'm more prepared. But definitely don't try to waste your time when it comes down to the end of second year or when it comes down to whenever you have your step one schedule. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know and comment below and please like and subscribe. Good luck.